Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Wild Vigs, guys. And uh, so the other night, I was chilling at work, and I had a second to check Twitter. So I was scrolling through my Twitter, and a bunch of information was coming out from Activision's recent financial meetings. And one of the details to come out was the reinsurance of a full premium title release coming in 2023. Albeit, this is one is going to be developed by Sledgehammer Games and not Treyarch, which honestly I'm really confused by because it should be Sle it should be Treyarch's game next after Sledgehammer's Vanguard and IW's Modern Warfare 2. This was from an article posted by Charlie Intel. Across the Call of Duty franchise, our teams are working to amplify the success of the fourth quarter, with 2023 plans including even more engaging live services across platforms in the next full annual and re premium release in the Blockbuster series. Underneath it, Charlie Intel also replied, this is not a Treyarch game. Now, why is that? I have no idea, and I'm not sure if anybody does. Why would they break the normal, like, release cycle? One interesting nugget is the Bloomberg report calling it an expansion to Modern Warfare 2 by Sledgehammer Games. And what does that mean in regards to other rhetoric calling it a full premium release title? So is it an expansion, or is it a full premium release title? I don't know. This leads me to ask, maybe, possibly, just maybe, are we going to get... Advanced Warfare 2. I actually think this might be a real possibility, and let me try to justify that prospect really quickly. The past two Call of Duty games released and developed by Sledgehammer Games have been World War II era titles. Games like the underrated World War II, and then the mixed received, and honestly personally mixed received, 2021's Call of Duty Vanguard. In an October 5th, 2021 article by The Chronicles, they state, Sledgehammer Games is reportedly developing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2. That, and according to Ralph Valve, an Activision insider who has accurately released information early in the past, that Sledgehammer is currently developing Advanced Warfare 2 with a slated 2025 release. Another interesting detail was Sledgehammer could also bring a futuristic twist to Call of Duty Warzone. That was mentioned in the article posted by the Chronicles. So if it's not Advanced Warfare 2, is Sledgehammer simultaneously developing two different Call of Duty titles? This is important in regards to the previous expansion statements coupled with full premium release statements. So it's all kind of confused, and I think the entire community is a little confused. Now why would they upset the cycle and kick Treyarch down the road? Treyarch is arguably one of the most beloved developers of the series, and Cold War was received really well. The next rumored title for Treyarch is a Golf War set title, with many leaks including game files from Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 pointing to this being true, even some screenshots emerging. So why would they change this? Modern Warfare 2 2022 has left Call of Duty in an interesting place. I'm actually currently making a video kind of talking about the state of Modern Warfare 2 and how it's left Call of Duty, and so I'll leave this section of the video kind of brief. But Modern Warfare 2 is left caught in a strange place. There's a lot of rising stars in Warzone and streaming and the Pro and Challenger leagues, with sales numbers indicating a rising player base as well. But you also have staples of the community like Crim6, Gump, and Methods all retiring from Call of Duty professionally, with a common theme being burnout and the understandable desire to pursue other things. And Twitter is full of people claiming to be done with the series, based on a variety of issues we'll get into further in another video. There's been a lot of outcry in the Call of Duty community to return to the jetpack era, with some people even claiming this was the golden era of Call of Duty. I don't really know, because I didn't start playing till Ghost, so the other previous golden era consideration is the MW2 to Black Ops 2 run, and I wasn't really a part of that, so I can't speak on that. S&D stars have also been going back to the jetpack CODs to play wagers and tourneys despite Modern Warfare 2 being out just a couple months. I was just watching S&D Dylan over on Twitch play AW the other day. He was frying, by the way. I also saw a plenty of other streamers playing Black Ops 3 and with myself even booting it up and playing for a couple hours over on Twitch the other night.
These games are beloved, and the recent revival, despite Modern Warfare 2's recent release, is undeniable proof of this. I've never seen such big stars return to past CODs this early before. This is obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyway. They're playing these games instead of Modern Warfare 2 because they don't want to play Modern Warfare 2. They want to play Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare, and at the time of writing the script, Black Ops 3 had 1600 viewers on Twitch, which would indicate others in the community, myself included, feel the same way. Modern Warfare 2 is not what we want. We want jetpacks. So my question is, is Activision actually listening? Have they changed the dev cycle to break up the boots on the ground combat seen in every game after infinite dog water with small changes like diving and slide canceling? So as I did research, the other rumor that's really circulating, which I think is also highly likely, which I really hope it's not, but I do think it slightly puts in doubt an advanced warfare fast track. So this tweet is coming from a pro reborn, and I'm not really sure who this is, but I guess this guy is somebody in the community. A slightly educated guess, but I believe this to be Modern Warfare 3. New campaign, weapons, and multiplayer spearheaded by Sledgehammer and IW with support from the rest of the studios. Now, this makes sense. This would make a lot of sense because uh, the original Modern Warfare 3 was developed by Sledgehammer Games or they helped a lot with the development of that game. And it's also coming up on Call of Duty's 20 year uh, anniversary and that would kind of make sense, right? But I really hope this isn't the case. Let me explain a little bit. I'm honestly a little heated because I believe the whole Modern Warfare IP was brought back to drive sales numbers. And you could have named the game something entirely else. You could have made a whole new franchise off of it and used different characters. But no, they rebooted it with the same characters for sales number. And I'm just frustrated with them booting a Treyarch game down the road to push more rebooted cash grab content if that's the case. Advanced Warfare is my favorite game in the series, and the one I was most obsessed with. I think we are looking at a very real possibility of the return to the jetpacks in the future, and I, I really hope so. And even though this game might be Modern Warfare 3, and if so, that's really unfortunate, but I do think jetpacks are coming back, so until then, we must just bide our time and be patient. With all that being said though, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know what, down below what your favorite Call of Duty game is and uh, where you want the series to go next. Peace out.